Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Daz Reacts. Today, I am reacting to some more Catherine Tate, and this is Nan Taylor. And in this episode, it's just titled Dead TV and At The Doctors. And I'm looking forward to this. I watched another Catherine Tate sketch the other day where it was the drunk bride and I thought it was really funny but I'm looking forward to getting back to watching some Nan now I think she I think she is at her best when she is this Nan character without that at her best so I am looking forward to this I hope you enjoy it. if you do please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button I will be uploading daily so let's get into this is that you darling hi Nan oh sweetheart thank God for that are you okay I came as soon as I got your message oh yeah goodbye how are you feeling? I'm all right. Yeah, I'll be all right. Just a bit of a shock, that's all. Yeah. When did it happen? Just after one o'clock. Been sat here not knowing what to do since then. I got here as soon as I could, Nan. No, don't worry, darling. You weren't to know something like this was going to happen. How could anybody know? We all take these things for granted, and then one day, bang, that's your lot. Yeah. Is it just ITV you can't get? <laughs> <laughs> you already knew what was coming by the title of the actual episode. No, love, it's all of them. <laughs> I've been sat here in silence for the last three and a half hours. <laughs> Have you missed many of your programmes? Oh, you know me, love, I don't really take much notice. <laughs> It's just nice to have on in the background for a bit of company, that's all, you know. Yeah. Check you on old. Although I suppose I'll never know what happened to Tanisha. <laughs> Who's Tanisha? Girl on that Trisha this morning, did you see it? No. Oh, it's unbelievable. She's getting the fat sucked out of her thigh <laughs> and injected into her backside. <laughs> Only a young girl she was. I thought they got it the wrong way around at first, but no, she wants to have a bigger ass and she's already got. <laughs> and if you ask me, it was a fair size to start with. You could show fucking cartoons on it. <laughs> I, love I love her. To have a look at the telly. He should be here soon. And I've missed me lovely gay boy who takes you to an auction and sells all your old shit you were going to throw out. <laughs> oh, it might just be the fuse. Oh, that'll be Danny. Danny who? Oh, Nan, don't start. Danny Shaw. I don't know no one called Shaw. You do? You know his mother, Lou Shaw. She's just come out of hospital. Not Loopy Lou. <laughs> <laughs> don't you dare say that while he's here. She's been very ill. Not Loopy fucking Lou. <laughs> <laughs> They've never let her out again, have they? Nan, I'm warning you, he's repairing the telly for free, so don't upset him. For free? No, thank you. I don't want no charity. You can tell him to piss off out of it. <laughs> I'd rather sit in the dark. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Taylor, how you doing? Hello, sweetheart, how are you? <laughs> I'm not too bad, thanks. Now, let's have a look at this. Oh, you can take it away, darling. I never really look at it. <laughs> I'll put the kettle on. Did Jamie check the fuse? Oh, don't bother asking him nothing, darling. He ain't got a job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to charge you for the repair, Mrs. Taylor, and I don't want any arguing, OK? Oh, you are a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> How's your mum, darling? <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I'm trying my hardest not to pause things anymore because I know it probably pisses people off, but it's that look that she gets and that... <laughs> it can't be beaten. How's your mum, darling? I haven't seen her about for a while. She's OK, thanks. Ah, she's still up the nut house. <laughs> 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 Mum went into hospital for a rest, uh, but she's much better now, thanks. Oh, I am pleased, darling, because last time I saw your mother, she was down on all fours in the dry cleaners, barking like a dog. <laughs> now, I think you must have her confused with somebody else, Mrs. <laughs> no, loopy loop! <laughs> Everyone knows your mother. I remember when she got barred out of Tesco's when they caught a pin in the deep freeze. <laughs> <laughs> Still, I'm very pleased to hear she's feeling better. There you go, Mrs. Taylor. It was just the fuse, so I'll be on my way. No, you won't, son. Oh, no. No, you'll take something for your trouble. Now, we've been through this. Uh, 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 uh. 
No, I won't take your money. Now, be a good boy. It's only a fuse. That's not the point. There's £50. Pounds. Look, I can't take it. Now, you take it and go and treat your mother to a nice new hat. Well, thank you, Mrs. Taylor. You look after yourself. Ah. Thank <laughs> you, sweetheart. Very obliged to you coming out at such short notice. Truly, I am. <laughs> what a fucking liberty. <laughs> Fifty pounds. Fifty pounds. He won't hear five minutes. <laughs> Ready, little bastard. <laughs> Man, you offered it to him. He nearly took me fucking hand off. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to do it for free. Mugged him, you front row. <laughs> <laughs> a lovely little boy and all. I remember he used to come up here wearing his little cowboy outfit. Should have fucking kept it on. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of good you were and all. Stood there worried about what side your hair's parted while I'm getting turned over by a man whose mother eats her own shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? This this woman that Catherine Tate, I'm not talking about the then now, I'm talking about Catherine Tate. That I know that they made a movie, the like the Nen movie, which I always believed that if if you've got a TV show and you make it into a movie, that movie is just gonna be rubbish. They done the same with um Mrs. Brown's Boys, they turned that into a movie and it was just complete and utter trash. This this character though, she should have her own sitcom that the problem is now is that she wouldn't be able to get away with a lot of what was said here, which was back in, what, 2005. That even down to like little things, like when like she was talking about the TV shows, like, oh, Miss Me Gay Boy, that, like, I believe that's um, something like Dickinson's Real Deal or something like that. She's like, oh, Miss Me Gay Boy, that takes everyone's old shit and sells it on and things. She couldn't do things like that nowadays. Everyone just treads on eggshells now. And it's annoying as hell. It really is annoying because this this is just pure comedy. This was just pure class. And I really wish she brought it back just as a Nan character. It only has to be 20 minutes long, but I'm sure you could like you could build episodes just around her and i i think a lot of people would love to see it and it it's just the generation now of wanting to cancel everyone and cancel everything are the ones that you need to watch for but i really enjoyed that and we're going to get straight into the next one now i want to watch nan at the doctors i've got a feeling that this one's going to be hilarious as well so i do want to watch it if you're enjoying this comment down below okay, Jackson's granddaughter, ain't you? Yeah, I used to go to school with your grandmother. Oh, isn't it lovely to see you? I ain't seen you since you were that big. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, I've heard your grandmother ain't too well. She's had her hip done again, ain't you? Will you give her my regards? Tell her I've missed seeing her a bad. It's beautiful to see you, sweetheart. Give me regards to your grandmother. Hey, oh, be lucky, darling. Who's that? God, no. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you it's packed out. It's not that bad. Oh, there's nothing wrong with half these people. Have a look. Come on, Nan. And look at this one in a running suit. <laughs> Years ago, you had to be spewing up your guts to see a doctor, and now they turn up in running suits. <laughs> oh, they've got a cheek. Hey, come on. Have you got an appointment? I? Do you have an appointment? No, dear. I'm here to see Dr. Bailey. Is it an emergency? Who is it? <laughs> is it an emergency? What's she talking about? <laughs> what is it that's wrong with you? What's it got to do with you? <laughs> what is it that's wrong with her? Aye, aye, aye. I'll thank you to talk to the organ grinder, not the monkey. <laughs> if it's not an emergency, you won't see a doctor today. Next appointment is Thursday at 10 o'clock. We rang this morning and the lady we spoke to... Excuse said, me. I'm talking. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is what? Yes, it is an emergency. <laughs> what is it that's wrong with you? Me head's hanging off. <laughs> <laughs> we rang this morning and the lady we spoke to said we could see a doctor if we came in before 11. 
Is it an emergency, she said. I ain't never seen a room full of such healthy-looking people. <laughs> what name is it? Mrs. Taylor. If you'd like to take a seat. Oh, well, only if you're sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't want to be pushing in front of Daily Talkton here. <laughs> Come on, sit down, I'll get you a magazine. <laughs> Keith Maywood. Keith Maywood. <laughs> Keith Maywood. Keith Maywood. Keith Maywood! <laughs> 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 mind keeping the noise down? I suffer from migraines. You do what, Dad? <laughs> Sorry, I, I've got I've got nothing to say to it. I've just got to laugh, but I'm going to pause it because I don't want you to miss any of it. <laughs> Honestly, I'd probably end up being exactly the same way if that was me in a doctor's surgery. <laughs> Sorry, but would you mind keeping the noise down? I suffer from migraines. You do what, darling? I I'm really sorry, but I have terrible migraines. Oh, I am sorry, sweetheart. I feel terrible for you. Truly, I do. Well, I've had them for years, but they've just really started. No, no, my darling. Don't feel you've got to explain anything to me. I feel dreadful, really, I do. I wish there was something I could do to help you. Would you like a mint? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'll be fine, thanks. I, I just need to see the doctor. Julie Hedges. <laughs> Is that you, darling? Go on then. Go and see the doctor, sweetheart. He'll see. Imagine, imagine you went to see the doctor and like it, it was the doctor that said that like oh, I suffer from really bad migraines. He's like, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, I really am sorry. I wish there was something I could do for you. Would you like a mint? <laughs> Julie Hedges. Is that you, darling? Go on then. Go oh. and see the doctor, sweetheart. He'll sort you out. Ah. Ah. What a fucking liberty. <laughs> She's got headaches. <laughs> Upsetting the other patient. I'll take a fucking shell pill, you. <laughs> Come on, you. I've had enough of all this. Mrs. Taylor. Oh, have you found a window in your diary? <laughs> well, it's too late now, love. It's too fucking late, Doc Co. Doc <laughs> Emergencies only. <laughs> what a load of old shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Honestly, since starting this channel, this is the one show that I keep watching, and every time I watch it, I finish, it and my cheeks are just killing me. They're hurting so much. Oh, that that was just brilliant. I loved everything about that. The, both episodes, the the dead TV part, and this one at the doctors. This one at the doctors is just hilarious. That ah, oh, I. I really wish they didn't stop making them. I really wish that they carried on making the actual series and not like the um, the movie. And there's other things like I know Catherine. <laughs> I'd like her to see like I'd like her to do cameos. Can you like have her do cameos in things like Doctor Who or have her do cameos in other shows that like shows in America that are still running. <laughs> Yeah, I think I, I think there's so much that she could actually do with this character, where you don't have to, like, you you don't have to get past the, the watershed part that like kicked in years ago, but you can still do a lot of things with this character that will make it brilliant. But yeah, I'm rambling on it. It's just something that I, it's hilarious. It really is, and it is one of them programs that, like, if if you want to watch it, then. You need to sit and watch it all the way through. And like I said, I have watched a couple of the episodes of the Catherine Tate show. And it is a sketch show. So she does like seven or eight different sketches in the show. And I remember Nan, some of the episodes. I remember Lauren Taylor. Other than that, <clears throat> I don't really remember, remember too much. I think that's why I stopped it. Because I was just waiting for the Nan parts. And like now it's the case that like you're watching something. And you just go to YouTube. That you haven't got to sit and watch a 30-minute show. You can just find the bits that you want on YouTube. Back then, it was the case that 
YouTube was still new. YouTube was still coming about. I think YouTube was probably still like a dating site back then and things like that. that so it was the case that you either watched it all the way through each episode and guaranteed Nam would always come on at the end. So, yeah. But again, I'm rambling on. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I will be uploading daily. And if you want more Nan Taylor from Catherine Tate, let me know in the comments down below. I will see you in the next one.